super excited to start this new piece, this dresser, isn't this beautiful, one of these old oak antique dressers, they're one of my favorite pieces in the world to paint. And I'll be doing dark and decrepit on the top, giving it a dark stain look, and then I'm going to do some reds and blues, it's going to be so pretty, I'm going to use Marquee, all Debbie's Design Diary DIY paints, and Mermaid Tail, and maybe even mix in a little Hey Sailor, I'm not sure, but I'm excited. So I'm going to get started. Only nine ingredients and it's uh, great coverage, dries fast, no VOCs, it's just magic, magic paint. Okay, here's the second part of the dresser makeover. And the first coat was put on with Marquee from Debbie's Design Diary DIY Paints. And I'm going to do lots of layers on this piece. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and put a top coat on this because the next steps over this, I do not want to blend, but I want to layer. So when you're not wanting to blend your paint, the best thing to do is top coat the next step and then start your blending. So I'm going to use Debbie's Design Diary Liquid Patina. It's a flat top coat mimics wax but once you put this on then you can paint over it it'll be a very quick process i've painted the whole dresser in the marquee red and the cool thing that i wanted to show you with this is once you put this on it takes this back to that beautiful marquee red this is uh the diy paint as i had stated earlier is a clay based paint so as it dries it dries lighter but as you top coat it it will go back to its original beautiful color. Mermaid tail. It's a beautiful, beautiful kind of aqua teal blue. So I am going to start putting that on. So I have started putting on some of the mermaid tail and I'm using my Mr. Bottle to just help move the paint around. And I'm going to just kind of layer it out to the edges. Leave some of that red showing around the edges because I want that to show. So I'm just smoothing this out as I miss and do the strokes out this way. tell we blended in some bohemian blue just lightly and then kind of faded it down to the bottom so a little bit of an ombre look but not totally and now I'm adding in some um, crinoline tarnished pearl just one of those creamy whites uh, just dry brushing that along around the corners uh, just to give it some more color and dimension Now I'm going to wet distress. I like to use baby wipes and I'm going to pull that blue back and that red is going to show through that I had put on earlier. It looks beautiful. Dark and decrepit, Debbie's designed our dark and decrepit. I told you earlier in the video that I was going to put that on the top. So I want to show you real quick how to do that. This will be pretty quick. So the best thing to do really is to just kind of wet. I like to just mist my top and then it just helps to smooth and move around. I'm just using my Mr. Bottle. This is just, it's like a patina top coat, but it also works really well as a stain. And it's just a really easy way to redo your top. Now, this has been, I did sand this down. I did sand it down. So it's gonna really absorb this in, but I'm gonna keep the water going at the same time to help move it and get it in there before it, um, absorbs it. And that will help it go a lot further too. And 
And you want to go even strokes, even strokes with the whip ring. That is how fast, my friends, you can apply the dark and decrepit liquid patina top coat to get a beautiful finish on your piece. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And this really needed a finish, a good finish over it, because this wood is old. And I had sanded it and then added the uh, added the dark and decrepit. So it's still pretty, it almost still feels like raw wood. So it does need a, a top coat over it just to give it another finish protection, especially with it being a dresser top where people are going to set stuff on it and you want it to have a good protection. You could put two coats of this on there too, just to make to give it really a good protection. Now once I get it on there, I like to go all the way across with my brush strokes. It gives nice even brush strokes and when that dries, it's going to look nice and even and it's not going to be choppy looking. You know, you don't want to see any strokes. You don't want to see where you picked your brush up. You want it to be nice and smooth finish on these tops. And once it dries, you can sand between coats and that'll give you a really nice finish too. But you don't want to sand between the dark and decrepit and the top coat because then you would pull your dark, dark and decrepit off and you would have an uneven look. So only after you get your first top coat on do you want to sand. And you would want to sand with a, at least, I would sand with at least a 300 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to dip it, take a little bit off of my paper towel and then just lightly I'm going to go over with the hardware. I don't want it to fully cover. I just want it to be little sparkles coming through. Barely, barely brushing it on. Clear Wax by Debbie's Design Diary DIY. I did this copper patina so light that it, it's already probably dry. When you dry brush, it just doesn't take much. So now we're just gonna wax this baby with some clear wax. And you're gonna start watching these colors come back to life and come back to their original color. Because you know, with the clay, it dries lighter. And then when you wax it or top coat it, it's going to go back deep and beautiful. And it's gonna look so pretty. So I, I'm just so excited. Then once I get the, the uh, clear wax on, we are going to add in some dark wax. All right, now we're gonna add some dark wax to this dresser. And I'm gonna put it in the corners, around the hardware, just where I kind of want it to look dirty. I don't want the white to be real white, so I'm going to add it around the white and then just on the edges. I'm not going to do it in the middle. I'm just going to blend it. I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. Pull it back a little bit. After the wax was dried, she was buffed out and she's all done. Thank you for watching this video. All products used were from Debbie's Design Diary DIY Paint. Links are listed below on how to purchase these products. Thank you.